they hold nothing. Blessed are the poor, and bless them with your own kindness. You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. You hear you rapping these dogs? I really horse? appreciate Four it. Things. You can take a look. That is a surprise. Hello again. That was quick. Whoa, look out. Didn't mean nothing by it. Thanks. Fresh picked vegetables. Come and get them. Good day for some shopping, eh? That man is pure evil. Hiya, hiya. Anyway. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I I'm afraid. Uh, just a, a few old books. Uh, got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? Was back. Here. Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must say, you're acting very strange. Just uh, what is it you want? Maybe you should leave now. I've had enough of this. You're crazy! Uh, I'm going to get help! No. <laughs> Hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Por, por favor. ¿Quién eres? Help, please. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. No es aquí. Ayúdanos. Please. I'm on your side. 
It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Something about the warm weather bring... Feather, fur, you name it, I could work with it. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Warm, W, an upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. I lick. I lick. Like. I like the soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry. You know the letters. You know the sounds. You're nearly there. I got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. If you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, I don't have any. Not, I got no. <laughs> I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. <sighs> Go over it first in your head. Take your time. Hello, sir. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Yeah. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister.
Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, Help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Don't go ahead. Keep moving. See what happens. A new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those cha Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... <sighs> Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins called him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Was there something else, Mr. Morgan? I would hate to keep you. Ah, excuse me, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but... Do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen. I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes.